All right, the first part, Taurus, does look like you got a little bit more work to do on the situations that you've been focusing on over the last couple of months, but it does look like you're trying to achieve some type of autonomy or break away from either a situation, a job, a relationship, something that no longer serves you, but it looks like you have this kind of false sense of... Um, duty, shall we say. It's a false sense of duty that really is kind of out of date for this situation. So let's start at the beginning. The Queen of Swords. Now the Queen can be an exalted person um, or it is an exalted person and also on the base level can stand for a woman that's um, very knowledgeable or someone over the age of 30. Um, I don't like to attach gender so much, but this does feel like someone in a female body. Uh, the Queen of Swords. Swords are an air sign. So that's Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. But it does look like there's a main focus on uh, someone who is offering something to you. Um, this may be in the form of a class. This may be um, joining a project that you have or propelling a project. But this looks like someone who's taking um, some of your ideas and helping you propel them into the world. This may be job related. This does feel like it's job related. So this may be going into partnership with somebody. Um, it does look like she has integrity and that she does want to help, but there is also, you know, a payoff for them as well. So find the balance. But it does look like someone that's helping you propel an idea, a situation. Could be you're creating a class. Could be you're writing a book. Uh, it does feel like it is something to do with your finances, that to increase your finances or find another way to make money in the world. So don't be afraid to ask for help. This person looks like she's been there and suggesting this for a while. Um, so don't be afraid to jump in and make those changes. Try those. Try something different. Try something different. And it's not a bad thing to um, have help along the way and include others in our, our revelry and our great joy. So what crosses you is it looks like you've been really doing some mental cleaning that you... You've got a lot of ideas coming down from the heavens. This is an eight. Um, an eight of wands. I, I love this card. It's like all these great ideas are coming down from the heavens. Well, pick one. Pick one, sweet Taurus, and start working on it to completion. But it does look like you have a lot of great ideas that are just kind of hanging out in your head and you're not putting action to it. I'm feeling that uh, the reason the swords are coming up or the swords and the wands are coming up is you got to cut through the crap and get moving, whatever it is. If you want to move, pack a box, move the energy around. Don't just leave those ideas in your head and don't do anything about them. That is the challenge for you is to take those great ideas and put them into motion, put them into the physical world, start manifesting them on the on the physical world and ask for help if you need to, Taurus. Um, but all these great ideas are just great ideas that are stuck in your head um, until you propel them into the earth plane. So whatever it is, whether it's moving, changing a career, um, releasing a job, um, whatever it is, that, that idea that's been rolling around in your head, it's not doing any good in your head unless you bring it to the forefront, Taurus. Um, it does look like you, you have been challenged a bit on your certainty. You, um, it does look like your self-esteem has taken a hit. Um, I'm also feeling like there is some negative energy, whether it's gossip, um, whether you're, uh, it does feel like you are around someone, whether it's work, interpersonal, your love life, there's someone who is either morally beating you up, demeaning you, speaking down to you, something of that negative verbal caliber. And it's really kind of messed up your, your self-esteem. Um, it does feel like if you take a leap into one of these ideas and start communicating um, and create a, a, a stronger 
um, sense of self that these will, these problems will fade away. Uh, but it does feel like you need to take your leave from someone or something that's really, really negative and it's not getting any better. So it does look like some separation, whether it's on an interpersonal love relationship or business relationship, but um, someone is talking down to you. So it really feels like your ego is taking a hit that um, I just want to let you know you are enough, Taurus. You are enough. Um, what is above you here? Pages. Uh, pages can be children. They can be messages. I don't see any um, family stuff here. So um, it's feeling more like a message. And page of sores. This is news of problems or difficulties. It could be troubles. Um, it can also be a problem that relates to a younger person. But this is feeling like this is your problems. These are your troubles that you have not been um, forthcoming on it and not doing what you can to resolve or separate yourself from the issues. But it looks like there is a negative situation that has been kind of beating you up for a while. So it's time to take a step away from that, however that looks for you. Um, and so you can regain your balance a little bit in, in your certainty and your greatness. But it looks like you have put yourself and um, your importance kind of on the back burner for a while. And now it's time to make you important. Do a little self-care. Really find some physical separ separations from the negative people that have been around you. Um, I know if it's at work, you can't really have that option, but you can... Um, not engage with it or, um, you know, just be neutral to other people's opinions. If it is in your home, you may have to physically take a leave from it for a moment. And that doesn't mean run away from home. It just means, you know, go out for a couple hours, get your head straight, go to a yoga class, go read a book in the library, get some physical separations from the person or people that are being negative. So you can get your head cleared a little bit and be a little clearer on what your next step is because you've got all these great ideas and you're the one that is shooting them down because you don't think you're enough. You are enough, Taurus. You can do anything you put your head to. My goodness, you're one of the most diligent signs there is. So um, find the balance in who you are. You are not royalty and you are not caca. Find the balance. You are like anyone else and you deserve what everyone else has. Kindness, love, being talked to with respect um, and reciprocated love. So um, you are worth it and you are enough, but it looks like you need to really recognize kind of how toxic this is. This, this first part here feels really toxic, this situation. It's not doing you any good, and I'm not sure what you're waiting around for. So take your leave, get some space, so you can put these ideas into motion and figure out what your next step is, whether it's finding a new job, whether it's leaving the current uh, love situation you're in, or extricating yourself from a group of friends that um, are not really nice <laughs> so but it who whomever it is is not nice and you know about it so um no sense waiting around for it to change you make the changes for you you make you a priority so um this is also a nine so that's great this is really recognizing looking at what needs to go keeping the things that are good um, and healthy and positive that bring healing to you. Uh, this this wrap around his head is kind of lighting up for me that you've been kind of beating yourself up mentally, and that serves no one. It serves serves you. It does not serve you. It doesn't serve your family. It serves no one, and you become less productive. So don't beat yourself up anymore. I give you full permission to revel in your greatness. Um, let go of the things that no longer work. Uh, continuing to hold on to them does not make them change. It just makes clutter in your head, your house, your heart, your love. So it's time to release the things that no longer work for you. Take a leap of faith into the future. It is much better than what is happening to you now. And you will keep 
um, you will keep the things that do serve you and the friendships that do serve you and the relationships. But letting go of the people, places, things that no longer serve you, that just clutter up your world and add to the stress, it's time to let go of that. And it does look like you've begun doing this or it wouldn't be in the past position. So it does look like um, you are letting things go. You're looking at them, but you're letting them go. There is one main thing that you're kind of hanging on to here that really needs to let go. And you know what that is, Taurus. So I encourage you to let it go so you can grow. It's grounding you from flying. Okay, the three is next. And that's a great card after kind of going through your mental, emotional, physical, spiritual closet. Um, so it's hanging on to the beliefs that do work for you, hanging on to the people and the ideas and the creations and the things that work for you. But it does look like you're thinking about taking a big leap of faith. So it looks like there's been a big shift um, in how you make your money or has dried up how you make your money or it's not as lucrative or you're stuck in some way. So it looks like you're really ready to take a leap of faith faith in doing what you love, whether it's writing a book, whether it's getting back to your art, whether it's going to school to get um, to be a better you um, or to gain more knowledge so you can get that promotion in the current job that you have. But it does look like taking that leap of faith and doing um, what you've always wanted to do. Um, doesn't work, you can always come back, but don't be afraid of the change just for change sake. Um, this change does look like it may have something to do with your home, your home life, um, and it also involves travel. Um, so those of you who um, are traveling this summer, it does look like there may be some work involved in this. Work may be sending you on a travel or you may be um, taking a leave of absence from work and traveling and, you know, finding the great unknown of the world. But it does feel like uh, there is water near here. It does feel like um, that you are going to start planting new roots, um, but you have to go visit other places to see where you want to plant those seeds so they can grow. And it does feel like you will be traveling a bit and possibly near water. And this is in the now position. So either you have decided to do that or you're actually headed there right now. <laughs> and here is the nine. It's another nine. So you are right on the precipice of really making those changes. You've thought about them a little bit too much. And now it's time to put some action into those thought patterns. But it looks like a situation has gotten you to the point where you're almost getting physically ill over it. It's laying heavy on your heart. You're overthinking. You're not sleeping. You're probably either eating too much, not eating enough, or nauseous. But all these problems are hanging over your head. And I would say maybe a quarter of them are really yours. Um, a lot of them are can be self-fulfilled prophecies um, by your fears coming to light. But if you step into those fears, make those changes, one by one, these things will release. One by one. But you're right there. Do not give up, Taurus, but change has to happen for you to grow. Um, the situation that you're in now is very staggering. Um, and stagnant. I'm sorry. It's very stagnant for you and you're not growing and you're becoming almost like a shadow of who you are and who your greatness is. So it's time to finish this up. Take that leap of faith and walk into the unknown. It is much better than what is happening now. So, and that's only one part of your life, Taurus. I'm not saying that Everything is falling apart, but you must speak your truth to make those changes. And that's what I am encouraging you to do, to step out of it and make those changes. It is causing you physical harm. The stress is, is creating dis-ease in your body uh, in the form of either not sleeping, um, either not eating, eating too much. Um, so your physical creature comforts are being threatened by keeping all this stuff inside and not releasing them and not making those changes.
So the basis of all this is a really wonderful card. This is a seven. This is watching those ideas grow, picking one, just picking one. You have a lot of great ideas, but it does look like you're really ready to pick one, put all your energy into it and really finish it. <clears throat> finish it. I know you're not hung up on that completion thing, Taurus, but it's time to really take one thing and finish it before you start another or before your head goes to a million other things that you could do. Finish it. Finish it and you will find success, um, but you must finish it. So uh, it looks like you're a little distracted. So if you can refocus to the one seed that you have planted and finish it to completion, that you will see the benefits, reap the benefits of completing that project and moving on. You have a lot of orange uh, color in here, and I'm really feeling that you are uh, have been healing yourself from situations. I don't know if it's a legacy situation um, or um, some... Um, isolated incident that you are growing from, but it does look like that no longer serves. Um, and now it's time to release the fear. Um, it's time to release the I'm not good enough or I, I don't deserve it. But it's really time to plant those seeds, watch them grow, but pick one thing. It looks like where you get hung up, Taurus, is when you have too many ideas. Either you do nothing because you're overwhelmed or you try to do it all and they all fail. So just one at a time. And I think um, that's what you need right now to really boost your confidence, to really sing to your heart, to let you know that you are enough, Taurus. The High Priestess is here. So with the completion of this and moving some of this energy out, not beating yourself up anymore, um, the High Priestess will kick in and help you find your balance. So whether it's, you know, praying to a tree, going out on nature walks, or um, reading the Bible, I don't know, whatever spiritually works for you, but it looks like embracing you as a spirit um, and looking at the big picture of what the lesson is, you know, this is school. The planet Earth is school. Um, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it. And you've learned quite a lot um, over the last year, year and a half, maybe even three years. But it looks like once you have made this leap of faith into the unknown and... Um, Take some of those skills and put them to work. Complete something um, and finish it. You will, um, you will get the self-confidence that you need because this is all smooth sailing right here. But it does look like all these nines are right here. This eight is here. It's time to finish something. You are almost there. Um, step out of this and step into your, your greatness. The High Priestess is here to help. You have all the information that you need inside of you. Um, and all you have to do is ask for help. Ask and ye shall receive, you know, and it's very true. I know I am a, a believer of spirit and there are many that are not. And that is fine, too, um, as long as you have an idea of something that's higher than yourself. Um, a little humility helps along the way. But it looks like you're building up your confidence. It's starting to come back. Um, you're starting to really connect with the people that are more positive in your life. And, and let the naysayers go. Let the naysayers go. And you're almost there. So fill in that last piece of the puzzle so you can move into your greatness a little bit more. The high priestess is finding balance. Uh, finding um, your spiritual balance, if you will. And... For some of you, it may be doing something in the healing arts. It may be uh, taking a leap into um, writing that book, whatever your passion is. But the High Priestess is there to remind you um, that you are here for a purpose. Um, and it isn't all negative. We must look at the negative things to march through those fear, the negative things, and to break the chain of them. But the High Priestess is here to help you. You have everything you need inside of you. It's just making those decisions. And if there you need some external help, you have the capabilities of asking for help as well.
So please do so. The Queen of Wands asking for help. This is feeling like this is a very supportive, loving, could be someone in the family. This is a fire sign. This is somebody that makes stuff happen. This is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So you may need to ask for help from someone who is embodied in an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is somebody that has, it's kind of a, a no jive person. Uh, the buck stops here. This is, you know, she or he can help you put, put your plans into motion, but you need to ask for what you need. Um, and be ready for it because this person, and I do feel it's a person, not just an idea or a situation, but this she is there to facilitate action and movement. And she's been waiting in the wings actually for a while for you to kind of get off your duff and ask her or to start some motion. And she's really ready to jump right in there and make it happen for you. This could be a business partner. This could be a family member, but it's somebody who sees the truth of all this stuff that's causing you a lot of anguish. And it's kind of really sick of looking at it so don't approach her until you're ready for the movement because she's not going to have any of the idle chatter anymore so you must be ready to move uh, the energy and it may be physically moved as well taurus but yeah she's a, a no-nonsense person and she's kind of tired of hearing the whining but she is ready willing and able to help you when you're going to jump in your greatness and do something about your situation so the three of cups is here. That's positive emotion. That's being around people who love you. That's all the positive love mo uh, juju. And you just need some loving up. It looks like you need some loving up, Taurus. So um, it's time to surround yourself with the people who have unconditional love for you that have actually missed you. You've kind of pulled yourself out of a lot of social situations. And now it's time to re-enter those social situations and to really rejoice in the beauty of life. It's been kind of hard for you. It's been hard and challenging the last couple of years. And now it's time to look at the positive and let the healing begin is, is the theme I'm feeling for you this month. Let the healing begin. But you must take a step into that motion for it to begin. On the other side of this is the six. This is the six of swords. Even though it's a feeling of entrapment, it may ne mean you've needed to float for a little bit. You've needed to float for a little bit and let somebody else take the reins. But it also feels like you are now ready to drive the bus, that you're kind of done relying on other people. And um, you're gathering your strength so you're not as fearful to make those motions. Um, and on the other side of this is the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords is kind of fear of theft, fear of could be gossip, someone taking advantage of you. But the fear is kind of holding you stagnant um, and not helping you grow. So um, do what you can to facilitate your safety on a physical, emotional and spiritual level. Um, but don't sit in the fear to the point where you are not moving, that you're kind of constipated in any of your decisions because your fear is holding you back. You've let that have happen for a while. And I don't see that that is of your, um, of your highest creative essence. That is not in your path for growth anymore. So take those reins and um, start making those changes one thing at a time and you will complete them. You will get them all done. And, but just start the motion. It's time to go into your greatness. Okay, Taurus, I know it was a little challenging this month, um, but ultimately the outcome is really good, but it's time for some motion to those great ideas and ask for help if you need them. I'm going to throw a couple of these past life cards for clarity. These are uh, also a Doreen Virtue, who I just love. She has these little cards that have one words on them, and, and they kind of bring clarity to the situation. So let's see what you need clarity on. Taurus, lessons and blessings. Okay, even though the lesson is negative or hard or challenging, um, it's a blessing in disguise, and it usually always is. Call in your angels. Call in the angels that are on the ethereal, and call in your angels that are on the earth. It's time to ask for the help that you need to get out of this situation, um, and you are enough. <laughs> 